Life is a journey we were never meant to take alone. The company of my brothers is a greater joy than I have ever known, but we are prone to shut out others from our hearts of stone. If sin had its way, we would be stratified by the lies that say we don't belong to each other. We headstrong people were born to vie. We create lines to divide based on insignificant factors, be it gender, personality, or race, and forget the divine influence that has interweaved our fates. Let's deliberate. What does it take to bind together a nation, a community, or a school that is made up of people so different? The book of Galatians says we should be indifferent when it comes to our differences. It says, so in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For those of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female. For you are all one through Christ Jesus. We are all one. Held together by the Son of God, who would have thought that a people so flawed would find favor with the Savior? It's odd, but it's true. Who would have thought that we would call a Jew from Nazareth, Lord, that this man from an abhorred place would unify and redefine the human race? You see, God designed us each like puzzle pieces. Individually, we can do nothing, but through Jesus, he increases our numbers until we make the full picture. When you think of our school, what do you depicture? Scripture says our student body should look a little something like this. Unique parts of the same body, utilizing unique gifts, but working towards the same goal. So what is this goal that we're aiming for? To follow the example of our mentor who said, No more will you live in sin. I have set you free from selfishness and stubbornness and avarice and greed. You no longer live for yourself. You belong to me. Christ consolidated himself with his people to create a more perfect union so that in communion, me and you and everyone who believes can be a part of his family. And we're going to need every member of this family if we're going to succeed. So heed my words. A dismembered body cannot reach its full potential. Mentally, a people of one thought and mind are essential to a reverential relationship with God. So if we are the body of Christ, heartily going along our separate paths will not suffice. We must unite through the sacrifice of Jesus. If you feel alone right now, don't buy into that lie. You don't have to put on a guise. I want you to recognize the common ground we share, the message we bear, and the abounding love and prayer that surrounds you. We care about what you're going through because it affects us too. We fare better together when we let others in no matter who. Although we may, we may not all look, think, or sound the same, we were all made to proclaim Jesus' name. So never forget the one who overcame our weaknesses through faith made us witnesses of grace and embraced our differences in the face of adversity. Diversity is a thing worth celebrating. Remember this verse and we will be a school and nation built upon the foundation of the Son. Restating Galatians, through Christ Jesus, we are all one. Yeah.